making sure I looks we got good connections on both. What's up Airsofters? I am here to introduce some of their new products coming out for summer of 2022 and really excited to show you guys what we have coming out. I know it's been a long overdue uh, introduction for these products, but we wanted to make sure that these products were going to be uh, to our standards and making sure everything was uh, locked and loaded in terms of our features that we have installed inside. So without further ado, I'm going to introduce you to our first product. So. If you're very familiar with our trace units, last year we came out with our UVT uh, 2.0 with some upgrades. Now we're going to be introducing the MF106T trace unit. So it's a little bit, about a quarter of an inch uh, bigger than the original uh, UVT. As you can see, I, can have, I have the uh, UVT 106 uh, on top and then the new one is on the bottom. So just slightly bigger, not too much. It's still going to keep, give you a, a small low profile. Um, set up so what's unique about this is that it has a muzzle flash uh, feature on there so you're gonna have three different modes so you're gonna have your standard tracer unit which is only gonna be compatible with green tracer BBs and then you're gonna have the muzzle flash which will just kind of uh, have like a muzzle flash coming out and then the third option is you can combine both features and have it in the tracer unit if you'd like so it's really, really cool. Uh, we've actually added some stealth uh, features to it. So on our previous UVT 106 2.0, um, it would kind of have it blinking once you had it uh, going on and uh, we've kind of reduced that blinking. So now your enemy can't see you blinking if, if you're uh, aiming your, your weapon at them. So that's another feature we added. I'm gonna try to demonstrate a little bit with the flash. Uh, so just keep, keep in mind, uh, it does have an auto uh, shutdown after 15 seconds without being used. Um, all you gotta do is just kind of shake it up and then, or just move it around and it automatically kind of turns on by itself. Also, it has an auto shutdown feature. So if uh, you're, if it's low in battery, it will automatically shut down to preserve the last kind of uh, uh, amount of juice in your battery. Uh, so you can actually um, play. And um, with the similar to the UVT 106, it has a micro USB port to charge it, so very convenient. Uh, you know, if you uh, have electronics like a power bank or anything when you're playing, it's easy to kind of just put in the uh, power bank and then uh, go play a game without uh, your tracer unit for a for a game or two, and then all of a sudden it's going to be charged for you. So I'm going to try to il illustrate the flash. Give me a second while I turn this on. So now you can see it's red, kind of orange tint. So that means it's the the flash. So I'll go ahead and put some BBs in there. So you can see it's pretty it's pretty bright compared to having the lights on. So you can just imagine when you're actually playing in low light uh, situations or in, at nighttime, it's definitely gonna be visible and kind of give you that nice cool effect to it. So, uh, and if you don't like this feature, you can always just go standard green tracer unit uh, and just run it as a uh, standard tracer unit and still compact compared to the 106 2.0. Uh, this will be released uh, in the summertime, and uh, depending on the the country, you know, pricing will vary. So definitely double check with your dealers to make sure um, what the pricing can be, and then also when there will be, because different markets will have this unit a little bit uh, earlier than summer, some a little bit midsummer. So it just depends. So just consult with your uh, local dealer or distributor that you know of in your respective country. Now moving on is our new AEG, which is the GNG MXC9. Uh, let me pan out a little bit so you can kind of see. So I'll put the magazine in here. So it took some time to actually develop this because we were trying to engineer it. And we're also waiting for two patents uh, to be finalized so we can release it. So there would be no copycats for this design. Um, it, we have a design patent on this. So it's very unique to our brand. So you won't be able to see anything similar to like this. Similar to the ARP9, you saw some companies um, kind of replicate certain features of the ARP9, but unlike this one, they won't be able to do that. So you have, from, we'll start from the front uh, and then work ourselves back. So in the, in the front, we have a five inch rail, metal rail uh, with M block. So any accessories you can mount on the side, you know, puts, uh, you know, like a flashlights or laser. It also has an integrated metal hand stop right here to be more comfortable uh, when you grip the whole rail, depending if you like the C-clamp uh, position. Also has flip up front and rear sights as well. So you can put a Picatinny rail on top. So you can put any optic as you wish or pec boxes. 
Uh, also, for left-handers, what we've been actually accommodating a lot of people throughout the last two years, I would say, would be left-hand players, because I know left-hand players are people too, so we try to accommodate them as well. And uh, so you're gonna have ambidextrous charging handle, uh, ambidextrous select lever, and also a functioning bolt, as you can see, it's uh, cocked back, and then you just release the bolt, and it rides forward, and inside you have a rotary hop-up unit, uh, which is pretty much standard now in our new AEGs coming out with our ARP9, our PCC45s, and such of, such of those. Also, a, a cool feature I really enjoy is this kind of uh, finger um, groove here where you can rest your finger while you're moving. So when you're not really ready to engage the um, target, you can just rest your finger here and it kind of literally just falls into that very flush and very comfortably. Um, it's going to have your standard flat trigger that you've seen on the ARP9, so you're going to have great responses. In addition, it's going to have an internal ETU and our latest MOSFET as well to, to give you that really crisp uh, you know, feedback when you're shooting. So if you're familiar with the ARP9 or the PCC45, you're going to get that same type of um, uh, feed, uh, feedback from the trigger. Uh, now moving down, uh, we're going to have our patented, uh, patent uh, window. Uh, magazine. This is going to be 130 rounds, and then we're also going to feature a 170 round magazine. So if you feel like 130 rounds is a little bit, you know, not too much for you, you want to bump it up, you can definitely buy a um, 170 round magazine for that as well. So just to kind of give you some comparison, uh, this is the MXC9 um, magazine, and it's going to be compatible. So. The MXC9 is compatible with the PCC45. Uh, it's pretty much kind of similar to the same lower. So this is the PCC45 magazine. It's a little bit more bulkier with the fake bullets uh, inserted with the shells. So you can insert it there and kind of give it this look as well. I'll go pan it out a little bit so you can kind of see. Or if you want the standard MXC9, so you can go ahead and put that as well. So the only problem is this is not going to be compatible with the ARP9 or other um, pistol caliber AEGs that we come out with. So just give you a comparison. Uh, this is your ARP9 magazine. Uh, this is the MXC9, so you can kind of see it's a little bit, uh, it has a nice curvature to it, similar to like an 8K magazine. And then this will be the PCC45. So the MXC9 magazine will be a little bit uh, smaller and uh, it's well, you know about the same thickness, I would say. Um, as you can see, it's pretty much the same thickness. Uh, so it just really depends what your preference is. You know, every, everybody likes running different magazines for whatever purposes. So this is kind of like what I recommend. You go with the PC45 magazine inside the MXC9 or just go with the standard uh, 130 round or 170 round for the MXC9. So uh, moving, uh, moving down, we have a very comfortable uh, pistol grip. And now here's a little Easter egg if you guys haven't uh, uh, figure it out, and I'm sure since Easter's right around the corner, I figured it to give you guys this little Easter egg. If you ever see these kind of agro, agro, these pistol grips, um, and you look closely, they have a little GG embedded on the pistol grip. So if you have something like this, uh, check it out next time on your AEG because you'll see G and G um, kind of like little small little G's on there. So that's a little Easter egg from our company to you guys to see if you guys uh, actually uh, like that. On the flip side, uh, we have this for your sling mount. Uh, you can put your, your sling here. And then moving towards the, the rear, our stock's actually patented as well. So like I talked about, there's two patents that we, we got. One was the design patent overall for the actual AEG. And then now we have like the butt stock. So uh, this has like a rising cheek wall, as you can see here. And you're able to adjust the stock in six positions. So you're gonna be able to get that nice Comfortable cheek well and uh, shoulder rest, depending on how you how you engage uh, you know your target, and it's also collapsible as well. So it becomes very ultra compact. So if you wanted to use this outside, and then all of a sudden you want to transition indoors to like an indoor um, air, uh, field to play, you can easily do that and become more CQB friendly. Um, you know, so that's an option for you as well. And another thing I like about what I talked about earlier about the finger grooves is that you can actually sit your, there's enough window in here for your finger to comfortably be there. I know some AEGs will have the buttstock kind of, when, when it collapses, it pretty much collapses to the receiver. So your finger kind of gets pinched or it gets kind of stuck there. Uh, so unlike that, those AEGs, our AEGs will uh, sit flush. So you're able to easily transition from 
having your finger ready to engage your target and then automatically just get into the, the, the trigger position and pull the trigger and shoot the enemy. Um, so that's one feature I really like about that. And then uh, moving forward, or moving back to the stock, uh, so once you have it collapsed, then in order to access the battery compartment, I know a lot of the things that we got feedback from uh, previous uh, AEGs that we've made are is the pretty much the battery compartment. So we decided to get this. There's a little button right here. So when you have the cheek well up, then you just press this little button here, and it's going to open the battery compartment here, and then you can just extend the battery, and then you'll go ahead and see the battery here. So some depending on the the market, this gun may be this this gun will be a Tamiya connectors. And then some other markets will come with Dean. So, like I said before, different markets will have a little bit different specs, but you know, it, typically it will come with a Tamiya connector. And uh, depending on the market, sometimes it will come with the Dean connector. So just ask your local dealer um, those specs if you were trying to figure out which battery to kind of put in there. But yeah, like a standard buffer tube battery will fit perfectly in here, and it's long enough. Will will give you enough space for that. So no need to buy like an extra battery extension or anything in that such to accommodate that. So uh, that's pretty much kind of like the rough, uh, fast, you know, deep dive in our new two products that are coming out later this, uh, this summer. Um, like I said before, we don't really have the price point for each market. So just talk to your local dealer or distributor in your respective country to see what the prices will be and the ETA for them coming in the summer uh, to you guys. So, and uh, I'm gonna see if there's any questions uh, really quick and uh, see if there's anything going on real quick. Uh, just give me a second, guys. I'm trying to follow up with uh, with this real quick. Um, see. Yeah. So yeah. So yeah. Like I said before, the the pricing will depend on the country. Um, ETA will be kind of in the summer. Hopefully in the United States, uh, I'm currently based in the United States right now and we're looking at June of uh, this, this summer or the, this month, I mean, this year, I'm sorry. And uh, so, but other countries might get it by May or July. So like I said, just consult with your local dealer and if you have any questions, let me know later on. And we'll do a kind of more of a deep dive more into these AEGs later on to kind of give you guys more of a, uh, of kind of breaking it down, looking inside the gearbox and all that stuff to kind of give you guys more of a detail, a deep dive in that. And, uh, but if that's, that's all that I have for today, hopefully you guys are excited for these two new products. And once we get more products coming out in the production line, I'll definitely let you guys know. So make sure you stay connected with our social media to be updated. And maybe we might raffle this one uh, later on uh, this year. And uh, if you're in the United States, uh, we're actually gonna be attending the SS Airsoft 12 year anniversary in two weeks. And uh, we'll be there April 2nd, I believe, from uh, I believe the event starts from 8 a.m. to uh, 5 p.m. And then two weeks later after that, on April 16th, we'll be at uh, Noob Day, which is in P uh, Paducah, Kentucky, and hopefully I didn't butcher that city name, and at ACS Airsoft uh, for their annual Noob Day event there. It usually was at Nat uh, right outside of Nashville, Tennessee, but they moved it up to Kentucky this time around. So there's gonna be a lot of vendors there. A lot of people are gonna be, um, you know, I'll have these guns there. So if you're coming to the to those events, I'll have these products there to kind of show you guys so you guys can kind of get a feel. And I'm always, uh, you know, interested in your feedback. If there's anything that you guys want us to maybe change or anything like that or any suggestions, let me know because that also helps us uh, come out better products for you guys. So until then, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.